If we move through each of our video slides, we can just see that the title changes right over here, but there isn't a lot of else that changes. I mean, obviously the description will change because we'll add and update that for each slide, but overall there isn't a lot of uh, visual feedback to show that these slides are changing or to really know which actual slide or video we're viewing. A simple solution would be to add a little selector graphic that indicates which of these current video thumbnails have been selected. So it provides some of that visual feedback here on the bottom, as well as up here with the titles. For each of these, we're just gonna use, I'm just gonna use a simple rectangle, but you're very welcome to get as creative as you like with the selector graphics. And I'm just gonna drag something quickly out over here. And I'm gonna change that to a white. And let's zoom in here a bit. I'm going to right click and choose format shape because I actually want to give it a little bit of transparency. So maybe about 50%. That'll work. I'll go ahead and close that. And the way I set this up is I wanted a little bit of padding around the outside of the uh, thumbnail and the text. And I want to drag this over here to align with my heading, my gallery heading. Okay, it looks pretty good. Let's zoom out. And that's something that's subtle enough that indicates where you are. You could totally change this. We could put a different thumbnail graphic on each of these. But we're going to need to put one of these on each of the slides, right? So I'm going to copy it, Control C, and we'll come down here to the next slide, Control V to paste. And you'll notice that PowerPoint pasted in place. So I can just use my arrow keys to move it down vertically. Okay. Copy it again, Control C, and we'll come down here to the next slide. And you just repeat for the remaining graphics. So while we're able to manage almost every element on our slide master, we still need to make manual changes to indicate the visual changes on the slide level. Alternatively, we could have uh, created a unique slide layout for each video slide in the slide masters, but then we'd still end up creating six separate slides. This is clearly one of those advantages that Storyline has with its states and layers. All right, so that's all we need to do with our selector graphics. In the next movie, we'll preview our project to see how it's coming along.